So there are a few plants in my vegetable garden that are already dying due to the heat, um, to the weather, you know, some plants are just done. And what I'm going to be doing today is I'm going to be cleaning up some of the dead plants away. I'm going to be replanting some other vegetables that I hope that they can take for this coming fall and I'm just going to be cleaning up a little bit some of this space because it does look a bit um, ugly and dead and it, it's time. I have been putting this up for a couple of weeks now because I have been wanting I've just been wanting to keep this place nice and, and green and full looking but um, some of the plants are just are just done for the season so that's what I'm going to be doing today. just one cucamelon plant and I am going to take it out today because um, the plant is still producing here and there and you can see how many you can see how many I got today but the plant is just tired and it's done for the season No, the sunflower seeds. Why? So that's their food. Oh, see how one fell? That one will grow there for the end of the season because it's a seed. Right, so I am not going to talk about every single plant that I have here on my vegetable garden, but I'm going to show you a few things. The tomatoes, you guys, wow. They are 
just magnificent this year. I have a total of 40 plants, 40 tomato plants, and they're doing amazing. I am uh, making a list of my favorite varieties so that I can uh, repeat them next year. And what I have been doing is that I am uh, saving some seed. You can see that I have some ones that are getting really, really ready. Uh, you're supposed to leave them on the plant uh, to ripen as much as they can without going bad in order for you to save some seeds. So I have been doing that. Um, I have been uh, saving seeds from my favorites, like this one right here. It's, it's uh, not quite ready, but it's getting there. So um, today I basically just went and harvested the few that were ready for me to eat and I left a few on the plant that just waiting for them to ripen to, to save some seeds. And I don't think that today's harvest was that bad. I got a bunch of them. So I'm gonna make salsa, maybe some spaghetti sauce. I don't know. I have enough there to make whatever I want. Over here, you can see the zucchini plant. This is my second zucchini plant that I have. Um, I did not start this from seed. I actually got this one at the store. And it's doing all right. Um, I have not I have not treated the plants for anything and you can see it's getting some disease on leaves and that happens I guess and it's fine I honestly uh, don't think that this plant is as powerful as my other one that I had um, I'll show you where that one was but it's all right and the green beans here looking a little sad I don't know these are the cantare green beans they're doing okay I have harvested some but they're looking a little sad, I don't know. You guys know what's happening here? I mean, something is eating the leaves and it happens. And oh my gosh, you guys, I have so many, so many jalapenos and poblano peppers that I, I don't know what to do with them. This plant is just one plant that I have here and I have about maybe a total of three or four jalapenos. And uh, they're full, full with peppers. And these peppers are so spicy. So what I have been doing is I have been uh, dehydrating them and I'm going to make them into a powder that I can just add for um, meals and whatnot as I need them. It's the beginning of September and the vegetables, the, the plants that I had here at the beginning of the spring are doing okay. Um, some of the plants, some of the flowers that I have here, I started them from seed. Those will definitely be a repeat for next year. I did a little bit of cleaning today. And another thing that I did today was that I clean up these ornamental kale. I absolutely love this plant, you guys. It's not for eating, it's just for decor. But you can see here it had the um like the leaves all the way down and they were kind of kind of dying so what i did is that i've noticed other people just cutting the bottom leaves and leaving them as i don't know like they're looking like a flower so so beautiful my husband has been uh, threatening to eat this but i keep telling him they're not for eating but we'll see if you follow me on Instagram, I'm constantly posting about my vegetables and how they're doing, what I harvest that day. And one of the things that I um, I love this year is the first time that I'm using them are these little chicken thing is for holding the tomatoes. Instead of using a trellis or a tomato cage, I started using these mighty crabs and um, they're very, very neat. If you um, go to Amazon or if you just Google mighty crabs you can uh, find out what they are and how to use them but I, I love those things um I have about let's see one like three or four sets all together for this year and I am considering buying a few more for next year and some of the things that are also doing very very well are the marigolds you guys these marigolds I did not start from seed but I I got them very very little and they're just so beautiful they're doing amazing I might actually start adding them to my regular flower beds 
And here's the arch that I already cleaned up from the uh, four melon plants that it had around. Right now I have, if you can see it from here, I have a tomato in a container that I kind of just weave around that and it's doing it's doing okay so far I have only had it there for about a week let me see if I can go around and show you that see that and it's just beautifully crawling up hopefully they do okay and over here over here on this side, I had one and two melon plants over there that I already removed, and I had some, I believe these are salvia. They are, uh, I don't know, they're pushing through the middle. It's okay. I'm not going to even bother with it right now. But over here, I uh, direct sow some sugar snap peas. That's going on. I had my sunflowers here that they were sort of attached to the arch but um, I cut those on already they were kind of dying I have several plants like this basil here that um, about a month and a half ago I harvested a bunch of them and I made a lot of pesto and I froze it and the plants look very very skinny and I think that um, I am ready to go ahead and make another batch of pesto so that I can use throwing the heck out of those plants and yeah so over here I had a uh, right there in that empty spot I had a zucchini plant that um, I had my husband help me um, jank it out of the ground because it was it was dying it was struggling and it that plant I absolutely love that plant I'm gonna show you what it is. I did not start that from seed either. But that was a zucchini easy pick gold that I got out of those. It was a, a very, very tiny, tiny plant. About, I don't know, like this, this tall. Uh, I put it here because I got it by accident. And that plant produced so, so many zucchinis for me, you guys, that I, I am, next year I'm gonna get a couple of plants because that, that zucchini is um, definitely a winner for me. So uh, I had that removed and that's why I started the other plant that you saw at the beginning but that one is not not as good compared to the one that I had here. In one of my last videos I show you how I um, direct sow some um, beets uh, but none of them took so I came back and I did it again. I don't know if the weather was just too hot or maybe I forgot to keep them water I don't know but um, these ones right here are germinating and they are coming beautiful together there so I'm hopeful I'm hopeful that this will take and right over here I got baby cilantro here going and I have my older cilantro here that it's also going to flower and that's okay and I don't know, I, these are sweet peppers and something is eating them. Everything wants to eat my garden now. And look at that, that is a poblano plant. It is loaded with poblanos and it needs a little bit of help standing up. And all of my tomatoes right now are loaded with a ton more tomatoes that I'm going to be getting here in a couple of weeks, hopefully. But in the meantime, I have other things growing, like I have cabbage there, I have, let's see, this one it might not be getting a lot of sunshine. Cabbage, they're a uh, golden cabbage, golden acre cabbage. I have one more there, over there, and over there. I have dragon tongue green beans here. So anyway, I'm not going to make this video super long. I just wanted to pop in and show you how the garden is looking I think that it's uh, doing great so far the tomatoes the tomato plants are like way way past the cattle panel right now and what I have been doing is that I have been whipping them together on the top and um, at this point I am ready to come here and just stop all the plants so they stop growing and continue 
working on the food that they already have. So many, so many green tomatoes. Somebody was mentioning making fried green tomatoes. I never had those in my life. I don't know. Those doesn't sound very appetizing, but that's it, you guys. That's it for this uh, small update slash tour of the vegetable garden here in central Indiana. If you have any questions, just let me know. And until the next video.